The all-new Supernote A5X is employing a little bit of a different operating system, but it looks much the same. It is an Android-based operating system, so at times after updates, you will notice some things around here, like Kindle, Dropbox, Google Drive, and certain things they're going to initiate in the future. Now, this isn't running Android to the point where you can sideload anything in. It's running its own Android version where Supernote dictates what to upload to the device via over-the-air updates. Few things you should know, this sidebar if you swipe down, it brings up the menu on any screen across the device. If you swipe up, it refreshes the entire screen, getting rid of all staining and ghosting. Another thing is that Supernote doesn't technically have a home screen. This is as far back as you can go. Your home screen is basically whatever's on the screen when it's outside of sleep mode. If you swipe down, you get documents, notes, digest files, and mailbox. Swiping the top down, you get Wi-Fi, cloud services, screenshot, search, and the settings menu. The settings menu is where you're going to find basically everything that most Android devices have, application, battery, security, etc. Once again, application is not going to be all of the applications that you are going to be able to use on an Android device. It's basically, as you see here, partner apps and basically things that they allow your device to use at any given time. Supernote has some of the best digital stationery on the market. Their original pen is made out of metal. They also have a Heart of Metal series with tons of different colors, and they've introduced a partnership with Lamy, a German-designed and German-made pen. If you sideload in Manga as an image format, JPEG, PNG, etc., it will look a little bit weird, so you have to make sure you're using PDFs or the proper Manga format. Note taking is going to be the primary focus of this video. Up top you have pen and beneath that you have pen, marker and highlighter as well as some different thicknesses and four different colors. Next to that you have the eraser. Tapping it once doesn't do anything, it just uses memory of which one you selected last. This is eraser, this is area erase and that is erase all. Because none of the Supernote pens themselves have erasers, you're going to have to rely on the eraser tab up top or the Lamy pen that is not included in the base purchase. It's only included in the upper level purchases or the combination set. Selecting the lasso tool, you can lasso anything on the screen and this will allow you to move it around. Now unfortunately, although you can make it bigger or smaller, you can't actually change the aspect ratio, which basically means you can't stretch it, but you can tilt it, move it around, stamp it, copy it, or save it to your clipboard. This isn't entirely self-explanatory, but if you use the lasso tool and you click the T, this is actually how you do text recognition. So you can do handwriting recognition by doing that and it puts everything into line. You can use the keyboard to continue dictating. Now you have to be careful because if you tilt it in any way like this and then you try to do the same thing it's not going to know because it works on a horizontal plane not the actual selection itself. There are 25 templates total and there's a lot of different ones you just simply click one click apply and it will apply on that current page not all the pages like say the Sony device this one is page by page so it's actually pretty nice to have a different experience from page to page and not have the same template completely own your notebook. Layers is an extremely valuable tool you can create four layers total you can then select the layer you can select a pen for example and if you make any mistakes 
on the page like so, when it comes time to erase, you're actually only erasing the working layer. So if I erase this range, it looks like I'm erasing everything, but the layer underneath remains untouched. All pens across the board have pressure sensitivity all the way from 0.1 to 2.0 millimeters thick. So you can do nice hairlines like that, or you can do thicker bleeds if you push down on the screen. And because of the screen protector, which is basically rubber from factory, it is regenerative and the ceramic nib is not going to scratch it. The Superno does have four working colors on the screen, black, gray, light gray, and white. White is essentially an eraser or the absence of anything on the screen. Three pens exist, only one has pressure sensitivity, and highlighter has a nice opaque feature when you draw over things. Clicking on Mailbox, you can basically start up almost any mail server out there, Hotmail, Gmail, etc. From here, you can actually write things, for example, review, choose your recipient, send it off, and from any email to any email, you can get that right from the Supernote. So it's incredibly intuitive and it's amazing that without any dedicated apps that you can do such a feature. Supernote doesn't have long press on anything, but they do have their own way of highlighting. You basically use the pen and you make some square brackets before and after what you want to basically highlight and then clicking on it adds it to your digest right over here so you can reference your passage later. Not only that, while you have that highlight up above, you can start making your notes here and tell people that it's important that you remember this, etc. all by using the note taking layer. They have introduced an engine that recognizes clip art elements, however, four devices later, two generations later, they really only still have the star. It is pretty cool and it doesn't matter how big or small you make the star, it will conform to that size based on how you wrote it. If you want to save basically anything as an image at any time, just swipe the top down and press the screenshot button. It will be saved as a screenshot and saved to your device memory. If you may have noticed whether you're note taking, looking at a PDF or a book, you have the same controls up above and this allows you to do anything you want, make circles, make highlights, underline and really make the page your own without any restrictions. The Supernote A5X is not leaps and bounds above its predecessor. In fact, it uses the same overall hardware and shell on the exterior, but it's significantly faster, upgraded internals, an all new Android based operating system, and a more refined battery make this a way more comfortable experience than the previous gen. This marks the fourth release of a device from the company. And everything from their digital stationery to one of the best writing feel on the market, there is no sign of slowing down for Supernote. For GoodyReader.com and a full review of the Supernote A5X by Rata, this is Peter.